surgery is considered the essential treatment for breast cancer. The goals are actually to complete the resectional primary tumor, not only recover the primary function, but also keep the quality of life. Breast is actually one of the symbolic parts as in femininity. So after eradication of the whole breast called mastectomy, a couple of women experienced a deep sense of loss or depression in terms of their body image. In recent years, partial mastectomy is actively used to treat breast cancer, including radiation treatment. In addition, sentinel lymph node procedure is actively used for the first time. When the stage is determined after breast cancer surgery, a patient with breast cancer needs a various type of adjuvant therapy. This treatment is really important because the patients at higher risk of cancer recurrence are more likely to need an adjuvant therapy. Radiation therapy is one of the cancer treatment utilizing radiation. This radiation kills cancer cells by damaging their DNA, which is indispensable for cell proliferation and their survival as well. What if you have taken partial mastectomy before? or have severe lymph node metastasis after the operation, you will have radiation treatment. This treatment requires 5 to 7 weeks. It takes about 10 to 20 minutes, 5 times a week. Generally, breast cancer and its treatment make little complications so people can be restored to health. But there might be some side effects of having such as a little skin changes, temporary pain, itching, uncomfortable, fatigue, and lymph nodes on spot exposed to radiation. Chemotherapy is a treatment method that uses a combination of drugs to either destroy cancer cells or slow down the growth of cancer cells. They are divided into post-operative adjuvant chemotherapy, pre-operative adjuvant chemotherapy, and palliative chemotherapy according to each purpose. Recent years, personalized treatment can be possible to block the signal targeting substance affected in cancer generation process. One of the representative genes called HER2 is known as the gene represented on 20-25% in total breast cancer patients. We're looking for to increase the treatment's effectiveness with little side effects by utilizing drugs separately or using it with anti-cancer drugs. Estrogens, produced by the ovaries, are one of the essential hormones for normal growth and development. But this also affects the generation and progress of breast cancer. Therefore, anti hormonal therapy is defined as reducing the estrogen affecting on recurrence and metastasis of breast cancer. This is one of the total care treatments and prevention, including chemotherapy. A couple of representative side effects are menopausal symptom and arthralgia, but most patients adapt to those symptoms. After primary treatment for breast cancer, regular tracking examination is pretty important because this process is detecting the distant organ metastasis early or cancer on the other breast. <laughs>